Gadgetel. This is your pal Gadgetel. And of course, that's not my real voice. This is here. Welcome back to another episode where we rate gadgets from 0 to 10. 0 being the worst, 10 being the best. And it's only one test, that's all. Uh, the items can be new or used. Amazon, thrift store, 99 cent store. Let's get this started. These items that I have up next are from Dollar Tree. Not the 99 cent store, but it is very similar. The items were still 99 cents. And this first one here is this brush. That, you put soap in it, and then you press this button, and it injects soap into some type of outlet there, and you scrub your dishes. So let's see if this is gonna work. You insert some soap there, and we'll put this back. There it is. I don't know if I'm supposed to pump it a lot. Let's check it out. I mean, I see some bubbles coming out, but it's not enough of what you would need. You would need a lot more, a lot more soap than this. You see, there is some bubbles in there, but that's not enough soap. You, you need a lot more soap than that. I mean, when I reach in, there's a there's some soap, not a lot, but some. Maybe it's the wrong dish. I don't know. Let's try a different one. Here, what we're gonna do is pop it back open, get some air inside of there. Maybe it's by pressure. Who knows? Maybe it doesn't have enough pressure. I like this handle here. It's all plastic, of course, the whole thing. Rubber, plastic, plastic, plastic bristles. And pump that again there. But I don't see that much coming out. Let's check it out. Yeah, I see it a lot more. But I don't think it's still enough soap for washing dishes. I can't even feel the soap in my fingers. I can't feel it. You know how you feel that uh, that slippery surface? Like right there, if I reach in here, I can feel the soap inside of there. It's not enough soap. And I've already squeezed it. There's a soap there. I squeezed it pretty hard all the way down. And we'll soak it again. Try it again. I mean, by now, I think I could have washed with a regular sponge. I think I could have washed a lot of dishes. It's pretty cool. The The idea is pretty cool. It pumps it out, but barely. It's pretty sturdy. I don't know if it'll leak after a while, but it doesn't seem like it will. It's not leaking from the rubber plug. At the end, for what this product was supposed to be doing, for a dollar at the Dollar Tree, I guess it's not bad if you just want to scrub stuff without having to put soap in here with the handle and everything. It's a nice brush. I'm going to give this a, a 4.1 because it doesn't do what it's supposed to do which is put the soap in there, pump it out, wash your dishes. It's not enough soap. It barely comes out. I could have washed a whole lot more dishes with a regular sponge instead of using this. All right, next one. Wall switch light, LED, and here it is. Remember guys, one test, that's all. They give you some double-sided sticky tape in the package. Three AAA. It looks like four, but it's only three. One, two, three on top here. Doesn't It doesn't have an on or off indication. Oh, this thing is pretty bright. I think I'm gonna keep this for my kids. There it is, switch it on. Wow, this thing is really bright. It's extremely bright. It's even lighting this up here. Let's switch it off, on. Here, I'm gonna close the blinds. There it is. This is pretty cool. I really like it a lot. Look at how much it's, it's lighting me up. And there's four, it looks like four LEDs. One, two, three, four, off on off on really responsive it is all made out of plastic the handle here is pretty jumbo the switch it's lighting this whole thing up the camera can see me from all the way over there that's pretty cool this thing is pretty bright back here for a dollar you can't go wrong it does have to mount it on the wall this i'm gonna give a pretty high score because i really like it one test that's all this is an 8.7. I know it's made out of plastic. We don't know how long it's gonna last. It is from Dollar Tree. It was only a dollar, but it's still a great buy. I really like it. This next one is gonna be kind of weird. I know. They're called Crest Scope No Water Needed Mini Brush. Like a mini toothbrush, a mini tongue scrubber, a mini, I guess a pick for your teeth. I haven't seen these before. It's, it says no water needed. This is the first time I've ever seen this, and it, it is from the Dollar Tree. They're pretty small. I thought they were going to be bigger. Two of them in the pack. It has the picks there. The brush head there. Tongue scrubber here. The back. 
It says no water needed. I know it's going to be kind of weird, but I want to test it out. I mean, there's only one way to do this, right? <laughs> Pretty minty. But the bristles are really hard. They're not soft. My toothbrush, the regular one, is a soft one. The bristles are really hard. Check that out. I don't know if they were meant to be that hard. Maybe they were. Regular toothbrushes are made out of plastic too. But these are extremely hard plastic. Tongue scrubber here. It works. It work. It actually works better than my toothbrush one. Uh, I really like this part a lot. But the toothbrush part, I mean, you can even scrub your tongue with these bristles here because of how hard they are. But it's minty. I mean, if you need this really quick in a bind, this will do just fine. It'll scrub your teeth, but not as good as a regular toothbrush. I mean, the regular toothbrush has so many more bristles. This just doesn't have that many. And it's really hard. Hard plastic. I'm not kidding you. Extremely hard, tough plastic. The pick is a pointy, pointy pick. If you had food stuck in your teeth, hopefully I don't stop making this video. I mean, it'll work. This is the first time I've ever seen this with no water needed, no toothpaste needed, and it has all three. The tongue scrubber, the pick, and the toothbrush part. In the end, it's pretty cool. The execution is almost there. I wish they would have included more bristles. And if they were softer, but it's tiny, you can fit it anywhere. I mean, you can fit it in your pocket. It's really small. For what they are, I'm going to give it a 7.1. I don't know how long these have been out. 7.1. I think that's a pretty fair score for this thing. This is the last one here, guys. Same thing. Dollar Tree. All of these items. Phone holder by E-Circuit. And what I like about it is that it's two little hands. It shows you how to hold it up there. Whoa. That's all there is. There's nothing else inside. Pretty easy to understand. What I like is that it's, even though it's plastic, it's pretty hefty. So it says you can hold your phone this way. Yup, it'll hold the phone. Is it heavy on the front? Yes, it is a bit, it's a bit too heavy. If you even barely tap it, it, it almost wants to just tilt forward. This way, the thumbs up holds up the phone this way. That's pretty cool. Here it is from the back. Will it tilt back? No, it's pretty secure. It's pretty secure, I like that. And of course, uh, sideways, this way. The thumbs up really doesn't hit the phone, it just holds it in place. It's not that bad. The last one it says is, uh, ah, I don't want it to break my phone. This is pretty cool. I like this product, it's nice. It's holding the phone really nicely. Side view, this is what it's doing. That's pretty cool, guys. I like it. It's really nice. Look, I'm lifting the phone and it's holding it in place. It's really tight. It's really sturdy. I mean, I don't want to swing it for it to just pop off. One test, that's all. Remember, guys. I like it. This one, I really don't like this mode. Most of us don't watch videos this way. We watch them sideways. It's too heavy for the front. Switch it back to this mode. I really like this mode because this mode is how everybody watches a video, right? Everybody watches a video this way. To watch the video, it holds it upright. It's really nice. I'm gonna keep this thing, believe it or not. I really like it a lot. It's pretty cool. Thumbs up is pretty nice. It's a little bit uh, wacky, silly, right? And it's made out of plastic. I just hope it doesn't wear out. It, it was 99 cents, I know, from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna give this an 8.8. .8. It's so cool. The only reason why I'm not going higher is because it's plastic, it might wear out. And uh, this part here, I really don't like it because it tilts forward, but I think that's a fair score for it. Guys, thank you very much. This is your pal Gadget Sal here again. Like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Hit that notification bell button and leave me some comments down below. We'll see you next time. Remember, one test, that's all. Thank you.